Is Damian Lillard the MVP? Okay, so this is one of those years where we all look at a player that we all really like but has never gotten those top honors. And so to be nice, if nothing else, we tend to throw their names in there. The MVP conversation, right? That's what we do because we know we are going to give it to one damn person. Now, look, Trailblazers were down 17 points last night in the last seven minutes. Damian Lillard finished his game with 50 points. Look at some of this stuff he's out here doing. Wop. Yeah. Not, not like the song. Something different. <laughs> wow. Well, that's a layup. I just felt like saying wop. Sounds like you're saying wop with an O, though. There's wop. a distinction. Look at this. Look at this. He is so fun to watch. The team around him is not good. But while they are the fifth seed in the West, did you know the Trailblazers have given up more points this season than they have scored? Like, if we're going to deviate from what we generally do for MVP and not give it to one of the guys on the best team, you got to give it to the guy who has been the best player in the NBA this year, and that is Nikola Jokic, the dude that's really putting up advanced numbers that are in line with the best seasons of guys like Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and LeBron James. If you're going to give it to a dude that's not on a winner, that's the guy to go with if MB does not play enough games to get real consideration. I think it's fascinating the way that we can look at the Pacific Northwest kind of having a similar problem with this in multiple sports, right? Because we went through this early season Russell Wilson MVP train and the continued talk around him is he's never even received an MVP vote. How is this possible when you've got a team in his case that's actually accomplished the ultimate goal and been there twice in successive years, but for Damian Lillard, it kind of now is falling into a similar spot where you've got a team that's above average. You've got a team that's driven to that point largely because of that person in that central spot. And whether it's because the area of the country doesn't necessarily draw as many of eyes for Damian, maybe it's you're playing so many games after the East Coast has gone to bed, but Bo, I think it ultimately comes back to that point. And this is, we know how these awards are structured. And so this is nice to say, but until the uh, Trailblazers front office rewards their stars loyalty with better players around him and better construction around him this is going to continue to be the way we spin our tires on this 50 points on 20 shots i mean look i i do this every time we talk about mvp i hate the mvp discussion because what does it mean what does the actual definition of most valuable player mean because you could absolutely argue he's definitely the most valuable player to that team and he may be the most valuable player to a team that needs a player so i think you could make the argument i also think that a lot of people make a lot of money off of making a bunch of different arguments and then they always just pick one of the ones that they're probably going to pick but i would say yes Damian Lillard, according to me, you could be the MVP. You did good. Good job. You know what? And I'm glad you said it that way because I always feel so bad. He's having a great season this year. But people always want to go too far, and then they point something out like this that puts me in a position to have to poo-poo on what it is that the dude's doing. It's like I saw this on one of them shows where they had where is Drew Brees on the uh, – around the horn. Where is Drew Brees on quarterback Mount Rushmore? And the answer is buying a ticket at the stand, right? You shouldn't have to talk about that. <laughs> when it comes time to talk about this dude leaving his career. Just be happy with what it is. That's right. Dame time, baby. That's the best part about this not being a Mount Rushmore. The midseason MVP list is like eight people long at this point. We throw people on there left and right. Let Dame have his moment too. Sure as hell you're leading the MVP charge right now. <laughs> Go off, Dame. We got it. Chris tap for everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.